Alright, so I'm going to be doing a review. This review is on two Kershaw assisted opening knives. One is the Ken Onion blade. Let's see here. It's a pretty nifty blade. It's got a little bit of serration on this one. And the second will also be a Kershaw. But it is actually the blackout. It's not a Ken Onion design. Uh, I'm sure you guys can realize this camera actually has a blue tint on it. So the knives are both black. The blur actually has a silver blade on it. So you won't be missing anything by you know having that different color on there. So I'm actually going to bring this over. Alright. So the first one is the Blackout. I just got this knife. It's a nearly brand new knife. Um, it's a, I would say an EDC everyday carry or perhaps a tactical knife. Um, it doesn't have any serrations. So the form and function is somewhat limited by that, but depending on the day, I may carry it, you know, just on how I feel. It's a 1550 steel, so that right up here, with the uh, made in USA and the patent pending on it. On the opposite side, it has the Kershaw USA on it. Ken Onion. Oh, this is also a Ken Onion. Excuse me. So, that's the blackout. I'll go over it a little bit more when we're contrasting it. This is the blur. It has a slight recurve blade. Um, I don't know many of the statistics on these or the exact measurements. Um, you know, it has a nice I would say two and a half inch to three inch blade, about one inch roughly is serrated with a slightly odd, I'm not sure if you can make that out, disc serration. They're not actually, you know, jiggered points, but rather more flowing serrations, which is kind of a new mix, but um, I like them. They're very functional and they're very, very smooth. It's a very, uh, a very shallow cut on those serrations, so they're very sharp, as is the blade. But um, I used a tiny V-shaped blade sharpener and got that a little bit higher, so that's how I've maintained this. On the base, it has a little bit of Ken Onion beauty. I actually like this knife because it is simply a beautiful knife. Um, I've used it quite a bit, so mine is a, a little battle-worn, per se but still a very beautiful design by nature. Again, the Ken Onion and a, I guess you could say a lanyard hole up in the side. It is a open back. There's no spacers in here. So some may view that, you know, however you like, but it being a metal handle, it you know, gives it a little bit of the weight distribution a little better um, I mean it feels good in your hand especially with that recurve blade it kind of is the same as your palm so I don't know, it just feels sort of right again if you look at the overall knife it's almost like a two wedge formation so fits well in your hand the blade is very functional very taut, but it has a nice clip on it. Connect that two points. And the switch indicator is actually at a pyramid kind of cut on it. So, they're pretty decent. You can open those with a glove hand. I use this during fire service and it does a pretty decent job. I also carry this in the ROTC. Now, a few of the differences. So, first main difference when you're looking at the knife 
is obviously other than the serrations, they have a broader blade on the blur. So, I mean, depending on what you're doing with it, some may view this as a little bit of a hardship, but that's a, a little bit slimmer on the blackout. The second obvious thing is just the material and the clips. I mean, this has a, the blackout rather, has a full back. It's a full plastic molded. Um, it appears to be two pieces. It also has the clip on it. That is a drastic change from the blur. I mean, these are both Canonian knives, but just looking at the difference on them, you, know, you can tell they are slightly different. A little bit more of a curve on this. This whole knife of the blur, rather, is relatively curved in most of its designs. The handles, the blur is metal, but the blackout is actually a plastic so I mean the blackouts a little bit noticeably lighter I'm not sure the exact specification but the blackout is having that plastic handle took out quite a bit of the weight on it the spacers are relatively same I mean I've never had any issues with those they're decent they hold up so I'm gonna skip over those I don't really like people that are snobby about their spacers unless they don't perform for any reason. And on the blackout, it is a circular opener. So I'm just going to demonstrate the little motions again on each of them. Um, this is the blackout. You open up with just a little thumb stud. I mean, very smooth. It's a, it's a it's a solid knife in your hand, and that has to do with it being light, and also that it's just very slim in nature. So, let's show that one more time. It's pretty, I mean, barely any force to be exerted. You that very discreetly, but very quick. So that's why I would rate that blackout probably about a 4 out of 5. I have rated it as an EDC slash uh, light tactical. In ROTC, I've used it as also a utility knife previously. This blur is, I would rate it a little higher on the tactical. Just because, I mean, those serrations are also utility. But in an environment when you're going to be do, need to do a lot of cutting, perhaps um, small limbs if you're camper, you could use this knife and those serrations to get through those pretty pretty well. And that recurve blade is also, um, I find it easier just to kind of swipe with, per se. Plus the thumb stud is very well oriented towards gloved hands. Uh, very quick. That's the only reason over the blackout. Um, the speeds are just... I would almost say the blur is faster. The blackout is just a little bit. I mean, it depends how hard you f hit that thumb stud, so it's gonna vary. But the blur, I would rate a little bit higher in utility as well, just because it's a little um, without that plastic handle. Not that I've had any trouble with it again, but that plastic handle. I mean, plastic's not as strong as steel, so that's just what I have to say on that matter. But they're both very functional knives. And I'm glad and very proud that I bought these $30 knives. I found them online. Google's, you know, shop them. You can find them pretty quick. And they're pretty little, nifty little pocket knives. Kershaw has a very good warranty. So, okay, this is GZ17. And I'm logging off.